name is Valerie Jesus. I am a certified emergency nurse here in the emergency department. Achieving my CEN it was very personal for me to do that. I loved what I was doing and wanted to acknowledge it from a personal level that this was the area that I was excited to be a part of. I originally started as an RN in 2000 and it, it was a little while before I even realized there was a specialty nursing in my area. It's made me a better resource to the department because my knowledge base is broadened. Um, always with continued education, it, it's an improvement. Achieving that CEN meant adding on knowledge base, not just where you worked, but in the industry um, as a general. There's different forms of emergency nursing, and um, trauma or cardiac or, or whatever. So gathering all little bits of information to just add on to that knowledge base. Originally, it's a test. There's review classes, there are review study books, and I did it on my own, and it took me about two months to study. And then they have like a proctored testing site in Fresno. The certification is good for four years, and it's between 100 and 125 CEs in four years. And it's mainly hands-on nursing in my area, but then also 25 CEs in like leadership and legality. I think in pursuing the CEN, I would tell anybody that it's any kind of knowledge that you're pursuing uh, for that certification it is, is going to be an added benefit regardless of what area of nursing that you do. I try to motivate people to do it. It's a good thing. I believe that it's certainly something that you achieve to acknowledge that this is what I want to do. This is where my passion is. This is the area of nursing that I love. My feeling about us needing certification in Reedley is precisely because we are a small hospital. We do not have a huge back staff to help support us. Being in a rural area, we see a wide variety of patients. A lot of emergency room patients are relatively low acuity, but we do have a, a significant number of higher acuity patients that I think the training, the knowledge that I acquired to be certified helps me with this broader base of patients. We get a lot of patients that we stabilize and move on to a trauma center. So we have to work on the same level as a trauma center to communicate what's going on and what's been done and how we can best take the whole spectrum of care for the patients. For pediatrics, I actually went to a two-day course. I learned a lot and we had nurses that came from all over the place to take this review course. This gave me the opportunity to talk to nurses that I would never see, never know, and find that a lot of the challenges we see are the same. I learned about a pediatric assessment triangle and how to quickly ascertain because children are not miniature adults. And the certification, to me, wasn't the end. The certification was part of learning, part of my growth as a nurse. So I became certified because I felt that it would make me a better nurse and I could better serve the diverse population that we get in the emergency room. I love MedSearch. I've always been med surge. I love the variety. And when I heard that there was a certified, I wanted to test myself and make sure I was confident in my skills and was the best that I could be. The fact that I can take a national test and pass it, I feel validated in my skills as a, a med surge nurse, but I always know there's room for improvement. So the fact that I have to continue with my CEs and stay up to date means that I'm always pushing myself to improve. Med surge as a specialty, we need to know a lot. I, ER, IC, those are critical fields, but med surge, we have to know the bigger picture from A to Z, from head to toe. We need to know medical and surgical. And those are two huge, completely different areas. For example, on the test, there was a lot of surgical questions. Uh, we need to know knees, hips, complications, risks immediately after a surgery, three days after a surgery, 
We need to know about diabetes and renal failure and thyroid and medication, what affects it, and long-term side effects of everything. Our organization for MedSearch, there's only three chapters in California, and the Central Valley is actually, it's from Fresno to Bakersfield, and the members are growing. They're very eager to get more and more members. It's a very small group. California is a huge state, and for only three groups in California, awesome. You're a nurse. That, that's amazing in itself that you, you've been able to pass a national test. But to say that you have accomplished a national certification in your specialty just means you're it. You're, you're good. So I want as many nurses as possible to, to get certified in their field so they can feel good about themselves and that they are the best they can be for their patients. If someone asked me if they should get certified, I would tell them they need to be certified in order to provide the best care they can to their patients. Every patient deserves to have a certified nurse at their bedside. I started in critical care over 30 years ago, and soon after I got into critical care, I realized I was very undereducated, <laughs> and so I started taking classes. I think I had an injury at work and I started taking some review classes, a CCR and review class at St. Agnes, actually. It was like an eight-week course, and it was amazing. And I think that kind of started my journey towards taking my CCRN test. Well, you have to have a certain amount of clinical hours before you can actually sit to take the test. And then once you're eligible to take the test, you study and take a 150 question exam. You get this sense of professional pride having your certification, and I'm proud to be a certified nurse. I and mean, then I look to examples in my unit that have certifications, and that's what drove me to be certified. I do feel like I have maybe a foundation to help others, to encourage others to pursue some of their higher education, which they're doing. Also to be a resource person to a lot of the newer nurses that we have. Um, you know, nursing school doesn't prepare you for your specialty, that education in a specialty area takes time and classes and resources. I went to Denver in 2014. I'm actually going to New Orleans for the American Association of Critical Care Nurses Conference. There's over 3,000 nurses that come for four days to convene and learn about new trends in critical care nursing. I probably took about five review courses before I even attempted to take my test. Yeah, we have to go through every body system and it's very detailed and a lot of the equipment and procedures aren't done here, but you still have to know about them. It is a lot of work and that was not surprising, but it's definitely well worth it. It sets the bar kind of high. I think nurses are interested in achieving it. I think it just serves as a symbol for excellence. I would love to see every nurse that's able to be certified be certified. It is what we need to do for our patients as well as ourselves. Certified nurses bring a stronger expertise, seems to be more professional. It's also very um, comforting to our patients to know that our staff have gone the extra mile to educate themselves further um, on what it takes to be an operating room nurse so that they can think faster on their feet. And it just actually makes them very proud that they have accomplished this. I have worked in surgery for a good four years, and then I hold my certification in CNOR, which is my certification in the operating room. I feel that I'm more competent. I feel that I question more. If I don't understand something, I just don't go with because people say that this is how it's supposed to be done. It helps me to implement the best standards, the current standards, to ensure that my patients are safe. I think it was like two years into actually working in the OR. I wanted the rationale for doing things and I wanted to deliver the best care possible to my patients. I think that certification is important. It just shows the level of commitment that you have towards your patient care. And by understanding the standards, the rationales to why you do what you do, just shows that you care. There were things once I became certified, I saw there were practices in the OR that were not up to par. The thoughts were like, don't use the front door, nurses scrubbing in in the morning. Small things, yes, that I definitely took from that and applied it in our OR. Maintaining my certification requires at least 175 continuing education units. 75 of those have to be based in surgery specific knowledge. We recently had an award through CCI. It puts us down as being CNOR strong. It takes over 50% of our staff to be credentialed 
to get this award and we're very proud of it. Once we actually went down the list and we saw how many nurses were, you know, seen or certified, it kind of blew my mind. It's exciting, everybody's excited. It is an award and a certification that most operating room nurses aspire to. I feel really fortunate having the medical surgical experience and then being able to bring that into the surgical area because I know what to expect after the patients come through their surgery. It gives me, I think, an additional opportunity to help educate patients and even other staff members who perhaps haven't seen the after work. The better the, the depth of knowledge that we have and, and things coming to you like that when you're trying to do the assessment and when they ask you questions, you can better explain yourself. Even if somebody has a certification outside of an area where they're working, you're able to bring that in and incorporate it and it helps to bring additional knowledge for the patients and also for your coworkers. I'm involved with the PANIC, which is a local chapter for California for the peri-anesthesia nurses. Benefits to being part of the organization would be that you can get scholarships to attend the national conference, the local conferences. They can help you with scholarships to recertify in Kappa and CPAN, to upgrade to BSN and MSN if you haven't got that level already. When I'm working with patients and even other staff and when they see the CMSRN on my name tag and they ask me what that is and I tell them that I'm certified in my particular area of specialty, patients feel like, oh, I have somebody who has a little bit even more training. It's really good for you to be certified because of the background that you have to go and study, research, and it just really helps you in so many different areas. You do feel like you've achieved one more thing toward advancing your profession. I think it kind of helps to spur people on to want to do more for themselves, more for each other. The reason I chose to be certified is because it's important to me to be able to provide the absolute best possible care to all of my patients. If my parent or my child was coming through to have surgery, I would want to know that the nurses taking care of them had the utmost skills available in the area because in our area, it's life and death. You know, they, these people are literally trusting their lives to us and I want to feel like I can give that excellent care that I would expect. I encourage other nurses to become certified in my area as well. I think it's a very important aspect of our professionalism. It's an area that's constantly changing and growing. We need to be learning the newest techniques, the newest best evidence-based practice to be able to care for our patients. And so I really encourage other nurses. It's scary. There's a big test to take. It's a three-hour test. You have a lot of studying to do beforehand that we can get together and do as a group if we need to, however we need to do it to be able to get that knowledge level there that the person can confidently go in and study. Uh, when I started working towards my certification, there was one other certified nurse in our area. She encouraged us on which materials to purchase, which books to read, which classes to go to so that we could get the information that we need. Currently there are about a half a dozen of us and there are seven nurses right now studying to take their certification this spring, so I'm really excited for them. I noticed when we were becoming certified, the group that I became certified with, we would read things and learn things and we would come back and say, you know, we should be tweaking this, doing this just a little bit differently. Um, the practice has changed, the new evidence is to do it this way. And we made quite a few changes as we were going through. And now that we are required to get 90 hours of continuing education to recertify, we're constantly going to classes, reading journals, and bringing back even more new information. And it's really exciting for our organization. With infection prevention, we act as consultants most of the time. And so we work with a lot of different departments. And I just feel that being certified gives me a level of credibility. It shows that I'm proficient in infection prevention. And when I make recommendations, it's helped those recommendations be viewed in a better way. Infection prevention touches every aspect of patient care. It really just helped me 
to realize how to work with people and how to help people feel enthusiastic about the changes. Because change is hard, how to make change a little easier for the people on the patient care side. You can't get hired in infection prevention and become certified in a week. They really recommend the two years experience. And with infection prevention, because it's so broad, a lot of times it'll take longer to become comfortable and competent, but we always encourage our staff to become certified. The reason why I got certified is because I'm the lead uh, clinical documentation specialist and I do orientation and I, I always do the uh, you know the teaching the main thing that our position actually is is to have that documentation to have a concise documentation for the records not only that it helps the records but it also helps the physician and the hospital itself both in the clarity the uh, severity and the type of patients that we have. They have to be really accurate when, when the patient comes in and you're treating the patient, you have to make sure that the documentation is there, supporting everything that you're doing. The documentation is not only the only found out that it's a key to reimbursement, but it's also key to how we are rated as a group, as a hospital. We have the mortality, morbidity scorecard, index that they're using for us too. So, so it is important for us to really have a, an accurate documentation. It's a concurrent documentation. We want to make sure that the resources that we use gets paid and the resources we use is appropriate for that treatment of that patient. This community needs this place. We have so much people employed and counting on this place. So it is really a good thing for us to help each other. A lot of us don't get out of it because we find it that it's very satisfying. You know, there, there's still some issues with the physicians and that would still go on. But as a group, we feel that there, there's value in the work that we do. The certification is basically measured what I already know. I don't think it did anything for my practice, but I think it's just for the position itself. But I also encourage my other uh, clinical documentation specialists, you know, as a group, we're trying to be certified because I think it's really nice if all of us are certified. I became certified the first time in about 1998. I had been a nurse for about five or six years and I was considering accepting a position at a PRN job at another facility and it was quite a different structure and there were times when I would be the only RN on site and I wanted to make sure that I knew as much as I thought I knew. So I just took it for some validation of the skills that I thought I had acquired and I was very happy when I received news that I had passed. I think the best thing about being a certified nurse and the impact it has on your daily practice is the education that you're required to maintain in your specialized field and I just think it helps to keep us current and helps us provide best practice for our patients. I'm hoping that because of the additional publicity about being certified that the hospital is promoting that some of my peers will be encouraged to obtain their certification as well just because of the education that's required to maintain it and I think it makes us better qualified to care for our patients. So I have had patients ask me about being certified and I'm always happy to explain that it's a certification specific to OB. I think they feel reassured and I think it kind of validates my skills for them and I think they feel more comfortable sometimes. I'm really happy to see the hospital's emphasis on honoring and acknowledging certified nurses. I think that will maybe encourage some others to achieve certification and I think that really contributes to our ability to be the best place to practice and the best place to receive care. I chose to become certified in nursing professional development because I feel being certified in my area allowed me to be consultant on the teams for developing new orientation programs, the leadership and role transition programs that we do, competency programs. It encouraged me to explore my role in developing and maintaining academic partnerships 
And those are all roles involved in being a nurse and professional development specialist. Going through the certification process and spending some time exploring all of those really made me feel that I had a well-rounded knowledge of all of them and I can contribute to the betterment of Adventist Health Central Valley Network. When you become certified in your specialty, you start reviewing the literature more frequently, you are involved in webinars, you go to those conferences and you bring back to the patients in Central Valley Network the most current data, most current practice. Certification to me was a personal dedication to my patients and to my peers. My certification elevates me as a professional nurse and shows my commitment to lifelong learning and extended patient care as well as best practice. Nurses ask me every day, why should I do certification? You guys are really promoting certification through the education department. Why? What's so big about it? You have to be internally motivated. I tell our med surgeon nurses all the time, you've been a med surgeon nurse for five years. You don't even have to take that certification review test. You know this information. You are an expert in med surge. Take the test, earn the credentials, and be proud of it.